Hey guys, it's Monica. I am going to just quickly talk to you about a few products that I've been trying and I probably sometimes, I, do you ever guys, do you ever guys, do you guys ever try something without reading the directions? I do. One of the things that I, I sort of was excited to, now I, I must admit my feet aren't bad. I don't have really bad feet. I've always liked when I go to have a pedicure, I've always liked to take pictures of my toes, take pictures of my toes looking at the ocean, stuff like that. So my feet have never really been bad. So, but I do like to pamper them. I'm on my feet teaching all day, usually. So I like to do nothing better than to have a pedicure or to soak my toes or just to pamper my feet. So I was sent, and this is from Adorai. This is the company that I've mentioned before. They sent me a beautiful, oh, um, the oh yes, the CBD cream that takes away the pain if you put it on and all that. Well, they sent me a, a package and in it included this baby foot exfoliation foot peel. You guys probably have all heard of this. Maybe you've tried this. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, me. I've heard of it, but I never tried it. So anyways, I decided to give this a whirl. And what you do is there's like these footies. And they're, they're like a plasticky thing. And they're filled with solution. And you cut them open. You put your feet in. And then there's like this kind of like tape. You tape it around your ankles. But you, you then you should put socks on because you really can't walk. Your feet are encased in this thing with all this solution. You have to leave it on an hour and then you wash it off. So I did that. I washed it off and, you know, the, nothing happened. And, you know, a couple of days later, nothing happened. I'm like, oh, well, you know, my feet weren't really that bad to begin with, right? They're, they're in pretty good condition. Well, all of a sudden, <laughs> I woke up and I... Noticed that first I noticed around my toes was like a little bit crackling and um, kind of ugly looking. And then as the day wore on, I could see it down on my feet. And then when I took my shoes off, my heels, I'm like, ah. Oh. Anyways, my skin on my feet is all peeling. It's like unbelievable peeling. Traffic noise. So. So it's peeling and all of that wonderful stuff. And it says, let it peel until it's done peeling and then use this cream. Well, I have, this is the Oh Yes. This is the So Soft, i put my glasses on. The Soft Sexy Sensual Foot Cream. So they sent me in this package with the baby foot, two of these. And I have opened it, and it smells, it smells like, like menthol, uh, but a nice, like a minty menthol smell. It smells really, really good. So when my feet stop peeling, which I hope is soon, because they're the ugliest thing in the world, I'm going to start applying this. And I have two, two containers of this. I think, and I'll link it, the information on their website. But, you know, the really cool thing about the Adori website is the woman... Holly that runs it or that started it. She named the company after the three women that inspired her. So I thought that was really great. One of them was her mom. One of them is her daughter. And I forgot who the other one was. But she named the company, used combinations of their names to come up with the name. It's, it's a woman-owned woman, woman -owned company. And it's the products are really nice. You know, the, the cream, Jay uses it. it. It's like, it's really nice. And I'm so looking forward to seeing what this is going to do to my feet once this stops peeling. The other thing that I do want to mention, because I had shown this and then it didn't survive. I got, I got contacted by a company called Oniyash. O N L Y E S H Oni Yesh. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. They said to me, and I'll insert the clip here so you can see it all laid out. But they said to me, if we send you some hair accessories, I was like, okay, hair accessories, you know me, right? If we send you some hair accessories, would you show them on your channel? So a lot of these are little pearl type clips that you can, you know, you can put in. Some of them are bobby pin type clips with pearls and 
they're just they're really really pretty they really are extremely pretty regular clips so you can like put your you can you can put these little bobby pins you can put them in your hair you can clip them put this in here and I probably should I can't see but you know so you can clip them into your hair and um, does that look it's probably too far back but anyways all of these clips I they're under I think they're like they're under ten dollars for this whole package of them they have all these other little clips can you hear the birds did you hear that You probably hear in the traffic. I have a hummingbird feeder behind me. You probably can't see that, but we have these little honey hummingbirds flying around. They are the cutest little things with the like little long little little beak thing. But anyways, back to these. All of these clips, these are amazing what they sent. And then these are great for styling if you want to clip your hair back. Whether you're you know wearing a wig or your own hair, I think they're fantastic. You can't beat the price. I'll link all their information. Um, I got these from Amazon. They were sold on Amazon. Sweet Baby, Sweet Baby, all these different clips. They're really, really, really nice and an amazing price. So thank you so much for sending me this. I am definitely going to enjoy wearing those clips. A number of you have asked me to show you because a few times I've worn that a fake bun thing with the longer trendles and a few of you have said can you show us what that looks like so the one that I have one that's still in the package this is what the package looks like I bought this off of the wigs.com website it was on sale and I think there is still a fantastic sale on this and this is the shade butter toast which for me on my natural hair is a perfect match so this is what it actually looks like a little messy because I usually do very gently with the wide tooth comb just comb it out but you can see there's some of the longer trendles trend and then your hair you can put your own hair up in a ponytail like this and it can go through it and that's what I do I just put it through even though my ponytail is pretty skimpy this is more wider I just put my ponytail through I take a couple of big bobby pins and I anchor it down on my bobby pins with my bobby pins and then I have this hanging off. I get so many compliments when I wear this fake piece and I bought two of them and because of the sales price I think the two of them cost me like under 20 bucks. It was a really fantastic sale that I got on wigs.com. And these are just the cutest little hair accessories. So whether your hair is thinning, you know, um, or you just want to have a, a different look on your hair, I just think it's a perfect, perfect accessory. So a couple other things. A number of you have said to me, you always have different sunglasses on. Where do you get your sunglasses? So I don't know if I can link these or not, but I'm going to put them on. And probably because I have the light on, you're going to see a reflection. So these, these were a bit, a bit pricey. I got these in Target. And I like them. They're sort of the cat eye style. I just think they're really cool. I think they were $16.99. So then I have a number of other ones. Some of them I've picked up off of Amazon. These are very, very light. They're sort of aviator style. They're merit style. I really like them an awful lot. So if I can link, if I can find the link for Amazon, I'll, I'll find the link. These I got, and many of you have comp complimented me on these. These I just, these were just TJ Maxx. And I really like them because they've got the little blue and the white, and they're just, they're different, you know, for me. I really like them a lot. I want to say they were $10, TJ Maxx. These I got on Amazon. These are really pretty. But they're kind of like traditional. But what I like about them, take a look at the, at the, um, the detail. Can you see the detail? I just think they're really cool. I really like them a lot. They've got like little diamond, little glitterly things on the 
they're just pretty they're like they're blingy so I like them a lot and I think they were probably ten bucks these gosh I don't know Amazon some women like to buy shoes some women like to buy handbags some women like to buy sunglasses. I don't have any pricey sunglasses except for my prescription sunglasses. I have two of them that I wear that are my prescription. These are not. So if I were to read something with these on, I would have a hard time. But I kind of I kind of like different sunglasses. I think that they're sort of like a an accessory, a fashion accessory in that sense. You know, you can wear these different sunglasses and have this totally different look, which I really like. So on my head, because I know some of you are going to ask, this is the Raquel Welch Editor's Pick, and the color is the shaded cappuccino. And this is the darker of the blondes. I think I would like to try a editor's pick in a lighter shade. You know, maybe the the shaded wheat that I have in in Flirt Alert. Um, but in my John Renee, uh, Renault, I can never pronounce that. In my Kristen wig, that is really light. I really like that one a lot. Many of you said you really like that wig on me too. So, but this is. Raquel Welch, editor's pick, and I like this wig. I think this is, yeah, you know, maybe the straighter look is like more of a modern look and, you know, whatever, but I think this look is, is a lot, this is a lot me. This is sort of my comfort zone. We had friends that came from D.C., and they stayed for a few days. I'm going to insert a clip here. It is of them le leaving our yard. So without our motorhome in the yard, there's plenty of room, you know. When we can actually park three motorhomes up on the top of our side yard. We had a great time with them, and then they left, and they are now up in Bar Harbor, Maine. And then later today, the day of this filming, we got word that the shop where our motorhome is in, the part they have been waiting for, it has come in. And they're actually working on it. That doesn't mean it's going to be ready in time for our Bar Harbor trip, but I, at least they're working on it. I'm trying really hard to contain my emotions to not get super excited because I, I know I'll just be terribly disappointed if we don't get to go. But they're working on it, so I thought that was an amazing piece of news. The other thing that we did, and I was going to do a vlog, and I really never did, but the the other thing that we did is we went to um, Hampton Beach for 4th of July, and so I just wanted to share a couple of the, the clips. Yeah, we yeah. went with friends, and we went out to dinner in a Chinese restaurant, and then we went to the beach, and we sort of had our chairs, but we were further down on the beach so that where we were, there was not a whole lot of people. And I'm going to insert this clip where you can see we're all sitting around They're talking. They're totally ignoring me back there. All they're talking about is this bone sticking out, Medicare, what it covers, gap insurance, what it doesn't cover, and how nobody tells anybody anything. I'm like, you got to read your policy. And right after this, Jay and I went for a little walk on the beach, and then we came back just in time for the fireworks to start. And I will tell you, Hampton Beach is a pretty popular place. I mean, it is like the tourist destination, right? And 4th of July, the Hampton Beach fireworks, they were pitiful. <laughs> they were literally pitiful. I couldn't believe what a poor job Hampton Beach, what they did for those fireworks. Fireworks started and ended, I swear, within 10 minutes, five minutes probably. We're all like going, that's it. And then a little bit away from us, somebody did this display. <laughs> and this was not far from where we were sitting. And we were watching this and we're like going, holy mackerel. And everyone around us, everyone was having fun. Really, this guy who was just very close to us was his fireworks display was so much better than the town of Hampton. And of course, you know, next thing you know, along comes one of those, you call those things, those sand buggy thingies, the sand dune, the beach beach buggies, you know, the, the big fat tires that the beach cops ride in. Anyways, that comes screaming across and it's pitch dark, right? You know, and we're like, oh man, they got to ruin our fun. 
<laughs> which they did. Us. But um, but Fourth of July was really it was kind of low key because we didn't yeah, go anywhere. Go we did a stuff, lot of work around the house. We did. We just had a lot of different things we had to get done and and all that and and then uh, but just going out we had a nice nice it was a sweet date night uh, we did fourth of july the next day jay and i took a ride up the coast we went to the spot <laughs> before we were married and even after we married we would go to this spot and um and we would we would neck you know i don't want youtube to yank this video down because i'm talking inappropriate now but we would actually neck on this spot on the beach so I'm just going to include this silly clip. You can barely hear us. But here we are in the spot that we used to go and neck at. And it, <laughs> it's going to watch it. Years ago, we used to come to this spot and neck. Yeah, so it was a beautiful spot. And that day, there were a few people there. But, you know, you can go to the really crowded parts of the beach, Hampton Beach, where there's a crap load of tourists. Or you can go further up to the beach, like spots like that, and all along the coast of New Hampshire. We have a small coastline, 17 miles, but we have all these really pretty spots. And then we ended up in Portsmouth, and we ended up going out on Martingale Wharf, one of the deck restaurants. And we sat there, and we had dinner on the deck overlooking the harbor. And while we were there, this big, big ship came in tanker guided by the harbor master to to go through so we got to watch that show and then after dinner we just walked around the Portsmouth Gardens so our fourth of July weekend while well, low-key was really really nice and I just wanted to share some of those clips with you as you can see us here walking and and just in, enjoying some of the scenery the gardens Prescott Park gosh they're so so amazingly beautiful they are so amazingly beautiful and no matter what time of year when you go there those gardens are extra special so we we did all that and we just it was just jay and i together and it made me appreciate though even though at times life is stressful and we're busy and we're doing this and we're doing that we're running and we can get angry at each other you know i mean i get angry at jay a lot he gets angry at me and uh, we don't we don't have like the storybook type of relationship in the sense that you never argue we do but we're friends and we like a lot of the same things so I'm just very very blessed that I can enjoy the simple things in life with my husband and even when I'm mad like about my moto even when I'm upset I can enjoy those simple things in life and you know, many of you always ask about my mom and dad, and we had mom and dad over one day, and I've, I know I already shared that in a previous vlog style video. And my vlogs don't do well, so I'm gonna try to in intermingle this like this. You know, my dad, his health is not the greatest. He is going to be, is it gonna be 91 in August? It's gonna be 91 in August. And um, he's had an amazing life, he has. And, and he, he's been the type of guy, he was such an amazing role model because he gave so much. You know, he really did. He had this vision for a better life for his family and he packed us all up in a boat and we crossed the big, huge seas and we came to America. And he, he bought, bought the land, he and his brother chipped in to buy some land together and his brother lived across the street. My dad bought the land part and built and, and, um, you know, we worked on that house, and his whole life was a sacrifice. You know, I don't think they make men quite like that anymore. I mean, not to take anything away from any men, but I really don't. I think I, his life was a sacrifice. There wasn't a moment in his life where I think he thought of me, of him, like, you know, had that attitude, me, me, I want to do this and this. He worked all the time. He worked all the time. So, and he wanted us to have a better life, and I'm so blessed that I have them in my life. I'm so, so happy that even my mom at 91 already, and my dad going to be 91, that uh, not too many people have their parents at that age. So, I'm, so I'm, very, I'm very lucky, and I'm very lucky that I have a husband who humors me <laughs> in many ways. And my husband, he may not be perfect. I know he's probably watching this. Sorry, honey, you're not perfect. He may not be perfect. But I'm certainly not a perfect wife either, not by any stretch. So we have two imperfect people together in a marriage, and I think it works pretty good for us. I do. So I can't wait to try this foot cream. 
anyways, that's kind of like an off topic type stuff. So I just wanted to kind of share all that with you. I know you probably all had a great 4th of July and I, and I, and I hope that August, by the, I don't know, I think this will probably come, be published Sunday. August is right around the corner and then fall. Like, holy moly, where did summer go? Anyways, that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate every single one of you. Bye, guys.